Hi guys, I'm Sean and welcome to Ghost Savvy Designs. So guess what? It's accountability time. What have you been working on this week? I'm going to show you mine. So you're going to have to post down in the comments what you've been working on too. And if you haven't joined our group, you should join our group. There's a link down in the bottom on Facebook. Okay, join us where we talk all things, all things crafty, whatever you work on lasers, embroidery, all the things. There's lots of people in there to help you. So if you have questions, please make sure you ask. But if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And by the way, go ahead now, like the video, because I know you're going to love it. Yeah, just know you're going to love it. But here's what I've been working on. And again, stay to the end so that you can see how I cut my shirts for the t-shirt quilt, because we're going to be doing a t-shirt quilt. Please, again, like and subscribe. Stay tuned and watch the rest of this. Check it out. So I started the week cutting acrylic. Then I moved into blankets and I did some of that on live with you guys. But then I was making pillows. Remember those pillows we made in the live a couple days ago, maybe a week or so ago? Well, I made some more pillows, but this time I customized them for the customer. So it is going to be super cute. I will show you. Yes, this is how I did it on the screen. This is my tin needle, brother tin needle. I also customized a basket. It's a little frog basket for a little girl named Maddie. And oh, I'm just telling y'all, it's so cute. I love the little dancers. And here's a name puzzle. The other part of Maddie's little basket is stitching out green. I know you guys are gonna love it. Can't wait to show you. So hang in there, it's coming up. This is the finished product. Look at this guys, what do you think? Tell me in the comments below. Do you like the new pillow? What are your thoughts about the presentation of the basket? All right, so remember, I was gonna use my AccuQuilt Go. Well, I did, and here's what I did. I cut out some of the, well, I cut out all of the binding for the quilt that we started, the quilt top. I quilted it on live. So if you didn't see how I used my long arm, please go check out that video because that video shows you how I use my long arm along with Pro Stitcher Lite I have the moxie and this is me cutting out the binding using my AccuQuilt, the electronic one, go. <laughs> so check it out guys, you'll love, love, love that video. It was a late night, but we had a great time talking about the different things that you do while you're long arming. So I had to turn it just a little bit just because that die is huge. So. Here's how it cut out. Check it out. I absolutely love this Eki quilt because it cuts so precise. But honey, let me tell you, there's a lot of static in this thing. A lot of static. So now I'm taking off the top and I will show you how it cuts. It cuts pretty, pretty clean. But see how I had that? It was like, eh, not every time it's so clean. So I just use my little scissors, my shears, and I cut it. So that's what happened. So I kept pulling it and I found that it didn't cut everything because I had it, the material was a little longer than the die. So when the material is longer than the die, it doesn't go past where the actual cuts are. But you see, I have two and a half inch binding strips. They look perfect and they will be ready for binding. But I did have to cut all of those just simply because I had put too much fabric on there. So next time I did better. Now, once I had my strips done, I took and I used my little tool to make my binding strips. Now this little tool I learned from Miss Pauline. Miss Pauline, is a lady from Australia. Now let me tell y'all, if y'all have never seen Miss Pauline make her um, quilts, she quilts as you go. And right now I can't think of her last name, but let me tell you, just look up Miss Pauline Quilt As You Go. She has all these fantastic techniques. I will link below 
um, a, a link to her thing because let me tell you, she is an awesome lady. She showed me how to use this um, this binding tool and I absolutely love it. Now I'm gonna tell you, if you want to talk with a great teacher, she is amazing. I met her last year and we had the best time. She walked me through, she loves Bernina by the way, but she walked me through how she did her designs, how she did all of the quilting on her um, quilt as you go blocks. She is such an amazing teacher. I really, really, really appreciated the time that she took to one-on-one -on -one talk with me and then to go through some of the changes and how you actually do some of the quilting using the tools that she created. So it was phenomenal. Again, Miss Pauline, check out her, her, check out her YouTube. It's amazing. Um, I'm quite sure you'll love it, especially if you're in the quilting world. It's so important to make sure that the strip is the appropriate size, that your iron is hot, and that you get this right because this binding goes on. And believe me, if it is not right, it will look a hot mess. And ask me how I know. Mm, I did it. I know I had a couple of them that looked a hot mess when I first started out. Now I'm just like trying to be innovative and changing up stuff and not using binding the way it probably should be done. But it's okay, we could change things. Everything doesn't have to always go the way it always went. So it's all right. I have my own little techniques, but I do make sure that I fold this in half and I iron it with a really hot iron so that it stays down when I quilt it. Okay, so here's the finished product. They're all cut, they're ready to go, and it's ready to bind. Now look how good that looks next to the little panel. It looks so good. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. I had a whole supervisor. She was there watching me the entire time. Like, what are you doing, lady? Are you finished yet? She was watching. So I was like, okay, my little, my little helper watching as I do things. Now I'm gonna tell you what else I did. I cut out that bag that I told you guys on live that I would. So, hey, I'm telling y'all, I've been busy, busy, busy. So look, I sewed it together. Now all I need to do is bind the edges and that bag, sew it together, it is 100% done. I mean, it's gonna be gorgeous. So I have to complete that bag. That bag is beautiful. And of course, I use the Tula Pink fabric. Come on, guys, you know me. I'm a Tula Pink kind of girl. So that bag is gonna be fabulous. Can't wait. Now, let's get to binding this quilt. So I did it, I bind it. It was doing all the things. So it wasn't bad, it really wasn't bad now. Here's the finished product, what you think? It's not as straight as I wanted it, but it's not perfect. It's imperfect, and I added a little loop. Do you see that loop? I added a little loop to the thing. On top of that, I made another little mini quilt. I was just all into the quilting. I'm telling y'all, this is one of the self-binding quilts. I made it, I cut it, I finished it, yes, now. All right, my pal, my pal for the shirts. Here we go, guys. It is time to cut a shirt. This is what I did. I laid it down. I cut off the sleeves. Now, after I cut off the sleeves, after I cut off the sleeves, let me tell y'all, I went rogue. I just started cutting. I was like, okay, I'll square it up later because it just took so much time. I was like, oh my God, it's gonna take me forever to cut all these things. And I'm trying to watch TV and I'm doing all the other stuff. So here's what I do. I square it up. You gotta square up everything. Yes, yes, you have to square it up. Don't have to go back and make it into a whole square and see what I'm gonna do. So, all right, I had to go find some stuff, get me a new, um, my new rotary cutter because I wanted to try it. So that's the Creative Grid rotary cutter. It is seriously nice. I did like it. So let me tell you, squaring it up is a thing. You gotta do it. Make sure it all looks the same all the way around. So I'm gonna tell you something. I have a lot of rulers and I tried a lot of rulers while I was cutting out all these t-shirts. So if it's a time where you wanna play around with your rulers, this is the time to do it as you're cutting out your t-shirts. So cut it out, make sure that it's square, line it up, do all the things that you need to do to get that thing square. So now this is my stripology ruler. Love this thing, oh my God, it is amazing. If you don't have one, you should check it out, try it out. I love stripology rulers. 
Um, now, I'm cutting this up because on the Stripology Ruler, it's so easy to just line stuff up. I know, I know, I know for all those Stripology fans out there, I did that wrong. I was supposed to just swing it around or whatever. I'm sorry, my bad. I was just, it was late. It was really late. Give me some slack. Okay, my bad. But I cut it up. I got it squared. And guess what? We're going to be ready to make us a block out this center part of the shirt. But let me tell you, your girl was working. So I cut out several more shirts. I did use the same technique. I cut out the sleeves. Then I went to square it up. So that's the gist of that. Now, once you finish this, then you will stabilize each one of the shirts. That is using a fusible stabilizer or even a um, fusible batting, but you will definitely need stabilizer behind the t-shirt quilt. All it does is it makes sure that each part of the quilt stays sturdy enough because think of it, it is t-shirt material just as if we were embroidering on it. You have to make sure that that t-shirt material, while it could be stretchy, doesn't move as you're quilting it. So that's very, very important. So again, here I am squaring it up, getting it ready so that I can stabilize it. Now that one didn't cut all the way, so guess what? I used my little tool and I cut it. So yeah, still using the Stripology ruler, lining it up, cutting it, measuring it, getting it ready. And here you have it. So everybody knows I love notions. If you don't, you need to join the channel. Uh-oh, I dropped that one. But look, I have all kinds of magnets. Those are magnets that pick up things like needles and things on your floor if you have problems bending or if you just don't want to bend. Then there are thread cutters. I mean, you could cut your thread. You, if you're chain stitching, you can chain stitch. It's called a chain stitch cutter. And that one, that little thing there scoops up anything that is, it's a magnet too. So it, it just picks it up, just picks it up. You know, love magnets. So if you've not joined the channel yet, please consider liking, subscribe, and joining us on Sundays because we're here at 6 p.m. talking about all things and it's fun. Join us. Thank you for watching. Bye.